Well, welcome back to Channel Ron. I'm working on a Cub Cadet snowblower. This project actually started a while back ago where I took the starter off and I actually tried to rebuild the starter, tried to clean it, put it all back together, and it still caused all kinds of problems. So uh, I got tired of fooling with that, so I just finally went out and actually bought a brand new starter. I really didn't want to do this, uh, but I really had no other choice. Uh, this starter here is about um, 85, 90 bucks uh, for the starter itself. It's going to come with all the hardware that you need. Not really going to need the hardware because we can reuse most of the bolts that are there. Um, but we got a brand new starter, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop that on. That's going to solve all my problems. So let's go ahead and throw it on. So we'll start by removing the switch and the plug-in for it. And that's just a Phillips screwdriver. And down below on the starter, you're going to have two 10 millimeter uh, bolts you're going to need to remove. And that starter will drop right out of there, just like that. There's some couple of tabs, okay, and that's how that works on the top half. There's no bolts, there's just some tabs, and it just kind of slides up inside there. Okay, nothing like a brand new starter. All right, so <clears throat> one of the things you want to make sure that you do is you want to make sure that you match that up. Uh, these uh, Tecumseh starters for these snowblowers, these are uh, set in, all right? So you want to make sure that you have that set in properly. Because if you get the ones that are flush, it will not work. It will, it will fit, but it will not turn over the motor because it has to be up against the flywheel. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this in. Take this cap here off, all right? And it should slide right up in there. like that. All right, before you put the bolts in, I like to use a little Loctite on those. Now, I didn't do this when I was putting it back together, just trying it out, because I knew that I may be taking it back out, but now I'm putting it in there for it now, to Now, I couldn't use the 10 millimeter on that for one reason or another. I don't know if the starter is a little bit bigger or not, so I got to have, uh, the head is also set up to use a uh, Torx bit, and this is a uh, T30. All right, let's go ahead and put the switch back on top. Again, it comes with new hardware, but really don't need it. Nothing wrong with this hardware here. All right, let's double check everything. Everything's all set. So let's go ahead and grab a power cord. Let's plug her in. All right, moment of truth. Oh, yeah. That's the way it should turn over. Let's go ahead and fire it up. So I wish I would have done that to begin with, just buy a new one. Uh, one of the things you want to remember, and I had mentioned this once before, is when you buy this, this is for it to come to 10 horsepower, is the tabs itself, these are indented. So if you get one that's flush, it will not work because the uh, starter will not hit the flywheel. So you want to make sure that you get the right one. Um, other than that, it's pretty much ready to go. So about $85, $90, I'll put a link down below. Well, I hope this helps you with your Cub Cadet 10 horsepower snowblower, and stay tuned for the next one.